choose when you become an adult to how you want your life to be at the end. And, uh, and I'm just very thankful that, uh, that God allowed so many people to come in my life to point me to the right direction. The film festival is gaining so much momentum so fast. The spring event has spawned a mini film festival here in September. One of the special guests is a familiar face to fight fans everywhere. Five time heavyweight champ Evander Holyfield is involved in the documentary film Road to the Ring A Boxing Journey. It's a 46 minute personal look into the lives of three amateur boxers as they prepare for the most important tournament of the year. And this morning, we welcome champ Evander Holyfield and Bill Cowell, president of the film festival. Good morning, guys. What a pleasure it is, champ, to have you here. Boy, this is great. Why did you decide to get involved in this film? Well, it, very important with me is to to educate the young people. It's not how you how you start, how you end. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's very true. Um, you had an incredible amateur career yourself. You know about Golden Gloves. You knew about the Olympics. You were there, so you had a lot to impart impart to these guys. Well, yes, I did because it mainly is your coaches and all that, and being able to listen, follow up, and not quit. And I just so happened to have a coach told me at the age of eight years old that I could be the heavyweight champ of the world. Wow. Wow. And here you are. Not just once, five times. <laughs> it's amazing. Yes. You met these guys in person, the guys in the film. What kind of questions did they have for you? Well, I actually didn't, did not meet them, you know, but it's a question that uh, the coaches and stuff asked. And, and it just is a basic thing, you know. And one of the most important things, they said, well, how did you stay there? Right. That's because my mother, my mother told me, she said, son, anything worth having, you can't quit because it don't go your way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, so life is about if you don't quit, you eventually get there. And it took me 13 years to be, to, to make the Olympic team, but I didn't quit. But right. you can, from eight years old and to 21, it's a lot of temptations in between. A lot of distractions. Yes. And you're still at the top of your game. Yes. And it's, 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 a, it's a wonderful thing to be able to show younger fighters. You can exactly. do this and you can hang on to this, but you've got to stay centered. Exactly. You, and you need, you need people. You know, yeah. I didn't do it myself mm -hmm. for one thing. Yeah, I had a, had a strong mother and I had coaches and I had people that who cared about me as a person and wanted to see this happen. So, so they forgave when I messed up, you know, because you know, it's not all the time you have the best attitude, mm -hmm. but you have someone that really wants you to make it. And, and I made it because of that. You know, it's interesting. You can be such a tough guy when the bell rings, but you have a sensitive soul and you care about people and there's a spiritual side to you. Well, it, it is because that's the main part is because if I didn't have that spiritual side, then I would just quit and give up just like anybody else. But I had a mother, I had a mother who really loved me and and I didn't think it at that time. Of course not. Because that structure, that structure, I, why you don't allow me to be like everybody else? Everybody else do this, why, why can I do it? But because she didn't allow me to go down that path, I became the person who I am today. Yeah, and it's a pretty great person. You even forgave Mike Tyson. Look what he did to you in the ring. Well, but, but you know, the forgiveness starts at home. Mm -hmm. Because my mother wasn't right on everything, even <laughs> though she was right on 85% of the thing. <laughs> but she was wrong on some things, but you have to forgive to move on. Yeah. And, you know, with your brothers and sisters, they not right all the time, but you have to forgive to move on. So when you, if you manage how to leave the house in peace and with happiness you'll be able to conquer life itself and you have let me tell you in so many ways the band of holyfield foundation and let me tell you proceeds from this film is going to go to amateur fighters who could use some help underprivileged kids you're doing such great stuff you well, really thank are you. thank you you're continuing on and he's going to get back in the ring. We'll talk about that in a second. Bill, this has been a super mini festival for you. In fact, I'm not even sure if mini is the right word anymore. Yeah. It's gotten huge all over again. Well, you know, you, t you talk about momentum. I mean, look at look at who we got sitting next yeah. to me right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, this is awesome. It is. I mean, we, we can't, you know, I mean, every time we think we can't do better, 
we just come up with more interesting and uh, you know available projects to the people and and the foundations that come out of these kind of things and Evander helping and everybody else helping and forgiving and forgetting. I mean, all that stuff. I mean, right. it's, it's it's what it's all this good. it's what this is all about. So it's what we need what? to hear yeah. right now well, in this country. There's so much junk the, yeah. going on. Yeah. You got to get down to the core of what's important between person to person. Yeah. And it seems like you you're bringing in such great people, such great films, and some of them, of course, have the genesis right here in Buffalo. Yeah. Well, you know, we try hard, and you know, we're a hub, and you know, we want to, you know, not only that, but you know, explore the beauty of of Western New York as well, and but you know more so the the beauty of these projects mm -hmm. and you know they just keep coming and and you know what we're trying and we're doing the right things to support these projects to support the filmmakers right and you know get it out I mean you know and we feel good about what we're doing I mm -hmm. mean I mean we're we're true we're honest yes so you know it's it's what it is I mean it is what it is you have screenings pretty much all around town and yeah. I want to show everybody that yeah. you have a, a nice booklet here that really talks about all of the films that are going to be screened and yeah. where it's going to be happening yeah. but tell us where Vander's uh, where this movie is uh, the road to to the ring is going to be screened and how people can meet Evander Holyfield. Yep, Saturday at 4 p.m. is uh, the premiere of Road to the Ring. Um, we will be there and uh, be doing, you know, press and photos and, you know, all kinds of opportunities. That's great. Now tell us and about the Walk of Fame, too. That's very cool. Yep, we're very excited about it and um, I'm sure Evander is as well and, and um, Tom Sizemore also yep. who's going to be here and, um, you know, we're going to, they're going to be the next recipients of, of our Western New York Walk of Fame Trail of the Stars. And uh, we're just adding to our list, and, and it's going to be a really cool thing. Oh, and, yeah. And it's open to the public, and everybody can see what we're doing and putting on that special Very event cool. right outside of Buffalo Suzuki Strings. Beautiful. Right near the Riviera Theater. So. Hey, Andrew, you have accomplished so much. Is there still more? Yeah. That work. I mean, you were on Dancing with the Stars not too long ago. <laughs> Eddie, I like the most beautiful woman there. Yeah. There's still things on your chart that yeah. you want to do in your lifetime. Well, yeah, life is about finishing, mm -hmm. you know. And, and my boxing career is, is, it's not how you start, how you finish. Mm -hmm. So I want to finish as the heavyweight champ of the world. But and, and the, but the biggest part of it is how many people that you inspire to be the very best that they can be. And that's pretty much what I'm doing is when you did it yourself then you you, you have you have the words and, and words are very important because they get lost in the shuffle because don't nobody pass it down. But it's, it's not how great you are, but how many people did you right. did you bring up? It's amazing. Your mother did a great job, may I say? Well, she did. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me a little bit about the foundation, because again, as we say, some of the proceeds of this film is going to go to that, and I know that's very important to your heart. Well, the foundation, the reason why the foundation is so important to me, you know, you know, I talk about my mother, but my mother only had a sixth grade education. She taught me what she knew, and but, and she, you know, we didn't have the money. So we went to the boys club and the boys club gave me an opportunity to become the man that I am. They they talked to me about the the, the listen, the follow direction, not quit, the sportsmanship, so how important all these things were. I wouldn't be the person who I am because my mother didn't have the money. No one's go in away with go anywhere without an opportunity. Right. And the boys club gave me that opportunity. So with this foundation that the, to show that I really appreciate that and show what I do for others. So my 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 Holyfield Foundation is we go out and help the needed people, people who don't have the parents, don't have the parents to give them the knowledge, or don't have the money, or don't have the facility. So all these things that they lack are trying to uh, supply supply them with this yeah, to give them important. a better opportunity. Yeah. Yes. You know, I'm so impressed. I may go back to shaving my head again, <laughs> so I'm nice and bald and <laughs> for Evander, because I'm telling you, he, he's just an incredible guy who is going back in the ring in December against the Russian Alexander Povetkin. Yes. In Zurich, we're going to be having this fight. Yes. You got to give up a title for this fight. Well, I'll give up a title to get a better one. Okay. See, and I wouldn't be giving up okay. nothing that I wasn't going to get something better. <laughs> so if you make the trade, you make a good trade. I'm betting on you. Thank you. I know you now, and uh, it has been an inspiration. And if you think meeting the man, the man is an inspiration, where do you see what he's done in this great film? And it's just one of so many that the Buffalo Film Festival is all about. By all means, everybody, take a look, see what's
it's here in our own area. Meet Evander Holyfield. Tom Sizemore is going to be around on Monday. Um, and do go to the website to find out more about it. TheBNFF.com. You can get all the information on where the movies are going to be screened. And uh, go and see what kind of fantastic films we're making right here in Western New York. The champ. Go get him. He's the real deal, everybody. We'll take a break and be right back.